Hello Arma 3 players! In this chapter of my tutorial I want to talk about surround sound. I did not plan this as a separate video in my series, and I have actually talked about it in my technical aspects video. But sadly, things have changed for the worse since then. And the simplest solution we had, Windows Sonic, has stopped working after April 2019 Windows 10 update and has not been fixed since then. I've had to return to this topic as my old Corsair HS50 headset has broken recently, and I had to replace it with a new headset. So this video contains an overview of different surround sound technologies, slightly technical explanation how most of them work and how you can use them. In the end I will introduce my simple Steam Workshop scenario for testing directional sound in Arma 3. But first, too long didn't read for all of you who do not want to watch the whole video. Download and install the old version of Razer Surround from a link below the video. It is free, works with any headphones and sound card, and will drastically improve your experience. Now the detailed explanation. First, competitive gaming is pretty much impossible without headphones. 7.1 speaker systems could work only if you live alone in a house, as you will have to turn the volume up very high to be able to hear footsteps. Simple stereo headphones are most commonly used. With one speaker or driver, for each of your ears a sound which is left of you in-game will be louder in your left ear, and by rotating your view towards it until the volume is equalized between your ears, you determine the direction to the source. But it is much better when you can determine the direction without rotation, just by listening to the sound. Some games, including Arma 3, do leak some kind of positional data into stereo sound, and for some players, like my friend Rookie, this is enough to tell the bearing to the source with less than 10 degrees of error. But most players, like me, cannot distinguish front and back using stereo sound. But is it even possible to give players fully directional sound using only two headphone drivers? Before diving into technical reading, I myself thought it is not. But I was wrong. Let me explain. We humans have only two ears, but we can easily determine the direction of incoming sound. This is achieved by the complex shape of our ears. Sounds coming from different directions are distorted differently by this shape. And by this distortion, our brain determines the direction. Now, if we model this ear shape and distortion in software, apply this to incoming sounds, and then feed this modified signal straight into our ears with a pair of headphone drivers, we get true surround sound. Much better, by the way, than physical 7.1 headphones with multiple drivers cramped into them. From the final sound quality standpoint, the best implementation is object-based surround sound. With this approach, the game does not produce, say, two audio channels for your sound card to fit to your headphones, but produces a stream of 3D objects representing each sound source for your software or hardware audio solution to mix. I've experienced this in VR. It works absolutely naturally. If a bird sings above you on a branch, then you hear it exactly 5 meters away from you, 3 meters above and a bit to the right and in front. Sadly, for this to work, a game should support one of the object-based sound solutions. The most popular are Dolby Atmos and uh, DTS Headphone X, and even those are only supported by a couple of dozens of games, and Arma 3 is not among them. So I won't talk about these technologies in detail. The solution which works for Arma 3 and almost every game out there is to have a physical or virtual 7.1 or 5.1 audio device. The game then produces 8 or 6 separate audio channels. Then, with the help of this ear-shaped based distortion technique I've described earlier, these channels are mixed into two channels for our headphones. The drawback of such an approach is that you get directionality only in the horizontal plane. But it is still much better than simple stereo. Now let's talk about how to get this working on your system. If you are satisfied with the quality of your current sound card and your headphones, you should use a software solution. 
I've personally tested three of those, Windows Sonic, Spatial Sound Card and Razer Surround. Windows Sonic did work very well until it stopped. It does not allow the creation of a virtual 7.1 sound device since April 2019 Windows 10 update. As far as Windows tech support is informed, the change is not a bug, but is intentional, and it should work without that now. But I have doubts in their competence, as in fact it does not work. Spatial sound card is available on Steam, and is rather cheap. I have tested it and refunded it. It works, but the UI is not very stable, and overall application quality is very low. For example, the virtual audio device did not disappear from the audio device list after I uninstalled it from Steam. For me, this implementation gave the best precision for the sounds which were close to directly right and directly left. But at the same time, I could not always distinguish sounds directly in front and directly behind, which is unacceptable in my opinion. As I've said in the beginning, the software which worked best for me is Razer Surround. But there are a couple of caveats here too. The current version of Razer Surround is exclusive for Razer headsets. So we need to install an older one, which is free for everyone. The problem is, as far as I know, the older version is not available to download from the official Razer website. So I had to download it from a third-party website, which theoretically means it could contain some malware inside. Windows Defender did not find anything suspicious in it though. The link will be in the description. Alternatively, you can try to find it in some other source you trust. The second thing is Razer Surround itself. It is a part of Razer Synapse, which is considered by many as a corporate spyware by itself. Maybe just conspiracy theories, I don't know. The software is rather easy to use. You install it, you start it, you log in. Yeah, it sadly requires a Razer account. You select your current audio device and you turn it on. It creates a new virtual 7.1 audio device, sets it as a default one and starts working. That's it. But I am not satisfied with my desktop's integrated sound card. It has very high noise level both on headphones and on microphone. For a couple of years I've been using Creative Sound Blaster Omni Surround 5.1 external sound card. It has integrated hardware 5.1 to 2.0 conversion. By hardware, here I in fact mean firmware installed and running on the audio card itself. The OS recognizes it as a 5.1 device and the game supplies it 6 channels, which are converted to surround sound in the headphones. Under the hood it implements the same kind of distortion as other solutions, but as it runs on a separate device it does not load the CPU. It provides totally fine surround sound, but the device has some power issues. Sometimes it reboots and my microphone stops working, which requires armory start to fix. Apart from that, a couple of weeks ago my kit has damaged my Corsair HS50 headset. Which is not my kit's fault, but a headset durability issue. After one and a half years of use it started falling apart. So I've decided to fix both sound card and headset issues with one device. There is a class of surround sound gaming headsets which include a sound card with them and are connected to a PC through USB. I've been expecting that these sound cards work in similar fashion to my sound blaster. During the coronavirus quarantine, I've had only three headsets available to be delivered to me in a decent amount of time. And I've selected SteelSeries Artist 5. To my surprise though, Disabling or enabling 7.1 in SteelSeries software changed absolutely nothing. In Arma 3 I've been getting plain stereo sound. The audio device remains a 2.01 in both cases. I've contacted SteelSeries technical support, but instead of telling me that it works as expected, they've told me to reinstall the drivers. Usual incompetence. By then I figured out that SteelSeries surround sound is implemented using DTS Headphone X version 2.0, an object-based solution I've mentioned before, which does not work in 99% of games. That's how I ended up using Razer Surround on top of a headset which is advertised as a surround one. On top of that, the Arctis 5 microphone is noisy and distorts my voice. I am able to record this with it only using the highest level of noise cancellation. You can compare the result to my technical tutorial, which was recorded with Corsair HS50. 
I would have returned my Arctis 5 if not for the quarantine, but in current circumstances I found workarounds to make it work satisfactorily. To present you with a fuller picture, I've tried to research into other headset manufacturers around sound implementations. Logitech also uses DTS solution, but most of others do not specify their implementation. I'd be grateful to get this information from you in the comments if you happen to have one of these headsets. I personally would want to try Razer Kraken as my next headset, as it grants a license of a current version of Razer Surround Pro. Pro version allows to calibrate the sound further to better fit your particular ear shape distortion part, but as I did not in fact try it, I cannot recommend it yet. The worst thing is that none of dozens of headphone reviews I have read or watched specified any of those details. The reviewers do not even understand the particulars, they just give their subjective, that sounds good or not. To help you test your current or new setup, I've created a simple scenario in Arma 3 workshop. I'll show you now how it works. I've recorded the first part with simple stereo and the second one with Razer surround. You can hear the difference on any headphones, as the surround distortions I've been talking about are already applied to the stereo audio of this video. Two hundred fifty, one hundred, zero. Oh, this is zero. <laughs> Thirty. One eighty. Two hundred seventy five. Zero. One hundred. One eighty. Forty. Zero. Three hundred twenty. Thank you for watching. I really hope this helps you to improve your experience.